Um, I think we're changing and evolving, um, maybe at a different pace than a lot of us would want to. Um, we have those nice murals on the street and the crosswalks. I really love that. Our concerts in the park are going really well, and now we have food with them, so that worked out good. And that was a piggyback off of someone at our farmer's market, so that was pretty cool. Um, we're getting ready to add some railings and things for safety. We're good. You know, we're, we're good. We're like perfect right now. What's up, Sussex? Welcome to another episode of I Am Sussex. My guest today is the one and only Teresa Brittingham, also known as Mama Milton. How you doing today? I am wonderful today. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. I want to start off with the long list of accolades first, right? <laughs> okay. Miss Miss Teresa, as many of you know, she was awarded the Citizen of the Year from the town of Milton. She was the Grand Marshal for the Milton St. Patrick Day Parade. She runs the Given Shelter, right? The Given Shelter Cellar, yeah. the yeah. Given Cellar um, in Milton, Delaware. The famous page, Simply Milton. She runs the Milton Farmer's Market. Miss, mix, miss 684 Milton herself. And she's also a Jefferson Award recipient. Yes. Actually, let's start there. Okay. Talk to us about the Jefferson Award. So um, one of my friends nominated me, and she came to me. She said, let's just do a big everybody brings stuff, you know, an event. And I was like, sure, why not? WBOC popped up. I won the award. We had did a big thing in Wilmington a few months later. It was it was pretty cool. It was nice being in a room full of people that have done so much. Yes. And, and w why Milton, man? Because you've lived in Milton all your life. You could have been anywhere. I could have. You could have moved anywhere. Why you chose to stay in Milton? I love it. I love my town. You do? I do. I love my town. And as I got older, my parents got older. And, you know, you don't want to leave your older parents. So uh -huh. the love of the town and the love of my family. And why get so involved in the community? It just kind of happened. And honestly, it's just what God told me to do. Understood. And I know that during the pandemic, you played a big role in supporting the community. I did. Talk to us about that. You know, the food, the giveaways. Uh -huh. Well, my biggest thing that I did during the um, pandemic was for graduation. Mm -hmm. um, we, were, we had grad fairs for anybody in Milton that graduated from anything, preschool, college, kindergarten, whatever. And different people would say, hey, I'll take care of so-and-so. And they delivered baskets, you know, of things that, you know, candy, school supplies, whatever, to the different kids in the town that had graduated. And the cellar, where did that come from? Well, I've always been the person that could be the one if you needed a bed. They call me, hey, can you find me a bed? And I usually can. You know, my Milton people are good to me. So one day a lady moved here and she's like, I have all this stuff. And they told me you were the person to give it to. And I said, okay, sure, except it was really all this stuff. You know, it was just a few things. So I took it downstairs, put it on a couple shelves, because I have a huge basement, and half of it, more than half, was my grandkids' playroom. They have a little corner now where it's grown so much. Uh -huh. So that's where the Given Cellar came from. Just that and one. how many people vis visit oh the Given Cellar on a weekly basis? On a weekly basis, I can have between 30 and 50. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And I'm not open that much anymore because I have different obligations That's in the right. summer. So there's a need out there. The farmer's market, man, you do so many <laughs> things. Why the farmer's market? So I'm on the board of the Cape Community Fund, uh -huh. and we help people in our Cape community. And um, the ladies auxiliary, you know, they wanted to step away, and they offered it to us. And I'm the one that lives in Milton on the board. So that became my baby. Yeah, so last week, you guys, it was packed out there. It was, but wait till this week. No way. Yes, I have 22 vendors. This Stop week. playing. Yes. Yep, 22. Now, um, are there any special things happening in Milton that you want to share with the world? Um, I think we're changing and evolving. Mm -hmm. um, maybe at a different pace than a lot of us would want to. Yeah. Um, we have those nice murals on the street and across the I really love that. Our concerts in the park are going really well, and now we have food with them, so that worked out good. And that was a piggyback off of someone at our farmer's market, so that was pretty cool. 
Um, we're getting ready to add some railings and things for safety. We're good, you know, we're, mm -hmm. we're good. We're like perfect right now. That's right. For lack of a better word, we have nice restaurants, we have places to shop, we're, you know, we're doing it. That's we're right. okay, we're still a good small town feel. Yeah. Haven't jumped into that Lewis thing uh, yet. Uh -huh. <laughs> and one of the things that I love most about you is also with your page, Simply Melton. Um, you know, when I want to find something out about what's happening in town, that's where I go. Mm -hmm. um, are you amazed by how it's grown and the support and the love? And also, I don't, there's, there's no negativity in that page neither. Lots of respect. There are exactly. lots of respect. And that's why I started it, because we don't have to talk to each other like that. That's we right. don't. Um, we can all have an opinion. It can be different. And we we don't have to talk to one another like that. That's right. And literally that is why I started it because there was so much on the other pages. And um, the way it's grown, I am shocked. I probably have to tell some people to calm down two or three times a year. Uh -huh. And it's usually somebody I know and they're usually like, okay, I'm sorry, you know. Uh. But it just flows. It literally just flows. It's their page, Milton's page, and they can do it what they want. They can advertise if they're a business. They can congratulate somebody. I, I don't care. It's for us. Yeah. Just as long as we keep it good. How did it feel being awarded the Citizen Award that one was by the shocker. town of Milton? It was. It was a shocker, and it was during the pandemic. So it was cool, though. It was cool. I don't need all that, though. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't need all that. I was going to do what I was going to do anyway. Now, I've, I've heard from so many people, right, if some, there's somebody in town or any town that will, they want to be active, what, what, are some of, what are some simple things that people that either move into town or have been in town forever and just want to play an active role, what are some of the things that they can be doing within their own town? Become a volunteer fire person. Wow, thank you. <laughs> Seriously, I mean, if you move here, help us. That's right. Help us. Um, our EMTs and our fire people, we have the best in the whole in Sussex County they need some help if you and if you move here you know those are things you could you should consider understood yep and that's just by contacting the local fire department yep you're gonna go to fire school then you get to sit out there with all the guys and girls and talk all day and <laughs> I've thought about it I really mm -hmm. have I might be too old now but I've definitely <laughs> thought about it <laughs> awesome um what are you currently reading what, what are your hobbies the farmer's market. <laughs> no, farmer's no, I'm just kidding. Um, I am currently reading. What am I reading? Oh, my gosh. It's on my phone. I don't know. Okay. I read a lot on my um, Kindle. Um, I like a good crime story. Is yeah. there a quote or a phrase that you live by? Yes. What's that? It's no till you ask. Wow. Yep. And what does that mean? That means if you, if I don't ask, it's already no. You know, I got a 50% chance if I ask of it being yes. So, yeah. Um, I know that that um, we have seen each other. You know, I've known of you. I've seen you. Right. Um, there's a saying, and you see it a lot on social media, that the people that support you the most are people that you don't know. Absolutely. And you have been that cheerleader. You know, I just... W I want to say that from the bottom of my heart, like since day one, you've been, you've always given me them nuggets and it's all been through social media. You know, sometimes you build this, that when we saw each other, I was like, yeah, like I've known love. this lady <laughs> yeah. all my life. And in reality, it was a relationship that was born through social media, man. And it just means so much. So thank oh, you for that. And I know there are others that feel the same way. Yeah. But so, when, it's funny you should say that. Because 96% of what I do is social media. So I'm always scared my Facebook's going to crash. But uh -huh. do you know over the winter, I got Amazon packages from Florida, Ohio, Oregon, sending me towels, blankets for my giving seller. Wow. I don't know these people. And they're just like, hey, I heard what you were doing. Somebody went to Virginia, uh, packed up a house, and brought me all the stuff. Wow. Yeah. Social S media. So if someone wants to get a hold of you, for the giving seller, how can they do that? I have a page on Facebook. And, and what it's is it? called The Giving Seller. The Giving Seller. Yes, and so my address is on there. Understood. Um, I prefer to be inboxed on there. Yes. Trying to keep my personal page and my Under business separate. Understood. And um, I answer every day. 
So through the giving seller. The giving seller. And now how do people who can participate, who can um, benefit from the giving seller? My main target groups are people fleeing domestic violence, uh -huh. people in recovery, veterans. But, I mean, let's be honest, people are just cash poor right now. That's right. They are. And um, if you can't make two ends meet, come on. It's nice to know that you have clean sheets to sleep on, a towels to wash your kids in at night. You know, any requirements? Just have a need. Well. You're not going to come fill out a whole bunch of paperwork. I find that to be a little bit intimidating and embarrassing. You know, if, if you need it, come. That's right. I appreciate everything you I represent, you. Mr. Nessa. Seriously, <laughs> thank you so thank much you. for coming on here. Please, if there's anything that myself or others can do for you, let us know. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Until next time. Thanks for watching Your Sweet Sussex. And for more episodes, go to IamSussex.com.